in this video we are going to discuss about routing loops so what is a routing loop you see here a routing loop is a situation where a packet is communicated or transported through one router or more routers because of the problems in the routing table that means it get routed continuously in the said routers and this is a problem in the routing table you take a very good example here router a router b router c and router d has the destiny interface ip address as 5.0/24 and when converged all routers in the network as shown below the figure you see that they know about 192.168.5.0/24 as their destination network so if router d loses connectivity to this ip or interface it will remove the route from the network and the next best route is from router c here and you see in the routing table while router c waits to send out the periodic update so if router b sends its own update that it is having a destination interface of 5.0/24 as a destination network then what will happen here so now when router b receives a packet destined to 5.0 it will forward it again to router c so as in the previous step the router b sends its own update as the destined ip address is 5.0 so router c will think that router b has a destined and it will send back the packet so here the loop forms so since the loop forms it it might go till the continuity of infinity so you can see that to prevent against such routing loops distance vector protocols have some checks in place that means the distance vector protocols have some checks in place to miss or to subside this loop here so these checks are discussed in the following sections what are the checks performed here so you see without checks in place the wrong routing information can spread throughout the network so since this routing information which is wrong will be spreading throughout the network because if they don't have this checks performed so to prevent this protocols rip has a maximum hop count so the rip has a maximum hop count here and without maximum hop count in place this will go on so how till how much it will go on it will go on to continuity to infinity so this is this phenomenon is called continuity to infinity and without maximum hop count in place the increasing loops get breaks up and it will cause the routes to be deemed unreachable and also this loop to be resolved in the form of this checks so we can resolve this loop here so what is the second process the second process is splitting the horizon rules so this states that the routing information learnt from one router to other router the interface cannot be advertised back that means you see that router b has advertised that it has a periodic update that the 5.0 network belongs to the router b so router b has has, a, has an update sending out so that that is called advertising and this is this is stopped here by following the split horizon rule because the interface cannot advertise its own update so that when router b does not advertise so router will router c will not send it back so you see here when this rule is in place the in the above scenario router b would not advertise about 5.0 because the network back will not happen so router c will not send the route again to originated one so this is the second step which is called split horizon rule which needs to be followed in distance vector protocol checks so coming to route poisoning so this route poisoning uses maximum hop counts to stop network loops so it will split the hop count so that it can form it can avoid the loop to be formed here so when a router loses a route it will advertise route that it lost the connectivity so that hop count for more than maximum hop count will be increased and the receiving router now finds distinct network and after receiving this, this distinct network you see unreachable and advertise it's a head such so the router b lost connectivity to 5.0 so since router b has lost its connectivity it will advertise that it lost the connectivity so that the router c again on router b again will not form a loop here so this is the route poisoning step used here so these are the three checks used in the distance vector protocol to not to form a routing loop so coming to the redistribution of the route we'll be discussing in the next videos